Hi all, my name is Haley Comet and welcome to my cosmic corner of the internet where we discuss all things astrology and today, Planetary Pep Talks Saturn Edition. This is a new series I'm launching here on my channel where I share eight tips for wrestling with a upcoming or a current planetary transit. This idea was born out of working one-to-one -one with my clients and so many individuals having so much like stress and anxiety about upcoming transit and not sure how exactly they can either lean into or deal with the energy. I wanted to start with Saturn because this is a planet that most people, it's like when they, they see that they have a harsh Saturn aspect coming up, they're like, Dun, dun, dun. like the world is ending. And I want to make it clear that Saturn transits can be positive. It can be a time of securing that dream job that requires much more responsibility and maybe longer hours, but it's okay because you're so passionate about it or securing a property where yes, you have to fill out a lot of documentation and get your financials all looked at, but then you get to own your own home or being able to move somewhere that you've always wanted to, which yes, is going to require you to have to be really organized, go through all your belongings, but it starts a new chapter in life. But it's important for us to manifest the more positive manifestations of Saturn transits, which is enhanced responsibility, stepping up in the outer world, more maturity. It's important that we do the work, which is why this video is helpful. So I wanted to share how you can prep if you have an upcoming Saturn return or if you're currently dealing with a hard Saturn aspect. So that is a conjunction, a square, or an opposition. So at the time of filming this, it's 2021, Saturn is in Aquarius. So this is for my Taurus placements, my Leo placements, my Scorpio placements, and my Aquarius placements. And the trines and sextiles are mostly helpful energy and you may find some value there as well. But typically harsh aspects are the one where it's like, you're dealing with that planetary energy whether you like it or not. Hello, me editing here, and it's literally not a, a video from me unless I have voiceover explaining some sort of error I made when I was filming. And today's error in this video is that I accidentally use the terms Saturn return and Saturn aspect interchangeably. This video is relevant if you are dealing with a Saturn return currently or you have one coming up or you're dealing with a Saturn aspect currently, or you have one coming up. However, I just want to point out that these are two separate things. Saturn return is when transiting Saturn returns to the same degree and sign it was located in at the time of your birth, which happens every 28 years, whereas a Saturn aspect is when transiting Saturn makes a conjunction, a square, an opposition, a trine, or a sextile to a natal planet. Just want to make that, make that clear. I used both terms throughout the video and I just didn't want you to think that they were the same thing. They're referring to two different things, although this video is useful if you're undergoing or about to undergo either of these occurrences. Thank you. Before I dive in, if at any point you gain any value, you learn something new in this video, if you wouldn't mind just dropping a like, comment something below, subscribe if I've earned it and if you want more planetary pep talks. And without further ado, let's dive in. Planetary pep talk, Saturn edition. So here are my eight tips of dealing with a current or an upcoming Saturn transit. So the first being, with Saturn transits, you will be asked to grow up. So my first tip is grow up. Like, Saturn transits will make you be a little bit more serious and a little bit more focused and have to get your together. Okay. So rather than fighting it, forcing it, being like, I don't want to get a real job or I don't, I don't want to buy my own health insurance. Saturn's like, this is reality. So deal with it. And it's like, we can't really battle against Saturn of trying to hold on to outdated beliefs and ideas and even a version of ourself because Saturn will make us grow up. And the more you can kind of lean into the shifts and the ways that you are maturing, the softer Saturn will be. And it depends on your particular chart, but when you don't lean into how Saturn is trying to evolve you, it will manifest in a wake up call or something that is really sort of dramatic to rip you away from that outdated belief version of yourself or idea. So my best advice, whether you're currently in a transit now or you have one upcoming, is just grow up, <laughs> honestly. Like you're gonna have to, yes, wear a little bit more serious glasses. You're gonna have to sort of mature into your life. Rather than fighting against these transitions, lean into them and trust that Saturn 
is simply challenging you to rise to the next version of yourself. To, so to trust those transitions. My tip number two is get organized and get diligent. So Saturn is a time that you're going to feel like you are, you are busier, you have more responsibility, and it's sort of a time of up leveling. And if you're messy, Saturn forces you to streamline your life and streamline your schedule as well. So if you, you know, have a lot of free time to party and like have all these things, Saturn is going to put some pressure on your schedule and that you might not feel like you have as much time for those particular activities. So if something really means something to you, organize your life, like seriously, bucket off your time. Saturn is here to make you responsible, to make you streamlined. So like if, you know, hiking with your friend is that valuable, like it might require you to start getting up at 5:30 to have that quality time with your friend before sinking into your work day. And if like your house is messy, like Saturn is going to put more responsibility on, on you where it's like you don't have time in your schedule to look for your keys for 2 hours every single time you're going out. So if you're in a Saturn return or once upcoming, great time to go through your things, get organized, get clean, get streamlined both with your schedule, with your time, with your buckets of time, with how you allot your time. And also with your home, um, because I've just noticed with Saturn transits, typically any sort of outdated habits that you have that do not serve you, that are honestly creating more chaos and a lack of structure in your life, Saturn is going to make it so that sort of lifestyle is incompatible with who you are maturing and move into. So again, part of this tip is don't fear responsibility. If you get a opportunity during this time, if you get a promotion, it's really a time that you can like be seen in the world as someone who is more authoritative and someone who's more of a leader and don't fear it. Like Saturn's here to teach you responsibility, to teach you discipline. So rather than trying to stay in your current position or being like, that's too much work, lean into that energy because it can be a huge teaching experience and don't expect rewards right away. Again, you know, Saturn's teaching you patience. So whether you're having it now or it's coming up, organize, streamline your life and your time. Tip number three is get your health in order, okay? So Saturn transits, I, a lot of my clients are like, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? My whole world is gonna end. One thing I wanna say is that people go through Saturn transits all the time. You know, it's not the end of the world. Like talk to, you know, your mentors, talk to someone older than you. They've been through many of them. So try not to panic, but I do wanna let you know that Saturn Basically, when you have a Saturn transit, you reap what you've sown. So if you are in a Saturn transit or what's upcoming, it's such a beautiful opportunity to really, really start focusing on your health. You know, if you have like a really fast metabolism and you can drink fruit punch and eat Tostitos and everything's fine, those consequences begin to catch up during a Saturn transit. And that could be in more cavities, that could be in getting heartburn. It's sort of a time that we can't really cheat the system any longer and that we might just start noticing some aches and some pains and have some health problems. Of course, I don't want to panic you. It's not like if you have a transit upcoming or sign transit upcoming, the whole world's going to end and you're going to get this like deadly illness. Like that's why I want to do this series is because I want you all to realize that Saturn whispers before it shouts. So particularly for my friends who are having a Saturn transit upcoming, like this is the time to get diligent about how you take care of yourself. Moderation, getting your exercise up, start taking care of yourself because a lot of times, particularly if you're young, you don't realize that your actions have consequences and Saturn transits really make you aware that every action has a reaction and to start putting in that time and that diligence now into your body and into your health. Tip number four is walk the narrow line, walk the line, <laughs> walk the line. And what I mean by that is this is not a time that luck is particularly on your side or you know you do something you break the law all the time and you never get caught saturn transit is when you're more likely to get caught so if you know it's coming up or you're in the middle of one this is not the time to break the law this is not the time to sell illicit substances this is not the time to oh just this once i only had one glass of wine i'm gonna drive home no consequences are knocking at your door. This is a time that basically your karma in life is really sort of turned up. So it's really a time to be diligent about what it is that you're doing and not take unnecessary risks because the law could catch up, um, restrictions can catch up, 
one of my clients got audited during this transit. This is a really common occurrence. It's really a time to make sure your documentation is in place and that you're not taking unnecessary risks. Okay, so my tip number five is just to make sure that you are using your time how you want to use your time. Saturn is a planet of time and a common theme that comes up during Saturn transits is making it really aware of sort of like your mortality or like you're getting older as well as those around you. So not saying this will manifest this way for every person, but there sort of could be this energy around Saturn transits of being really aware that like maybe your parents are getting older, or dear friend of yours is getting older, or that you're getting older and really looking at your life and being like, am I using my time the way I want to? Am I building the structures the way that I want to? Like Saturn really shows us the impermanence of all things and that time is going by and we're shifting along with it. So it could be a time where it's like you haven't been spending time with like your parents. There could be like sort of like a wake up call where it's like, no, time is the most precious resource we have. And are you putting it towards the projects and the things that you really want? Tip number six is really, if it's too good to be true, it is. Be patient, okay, for the big prize. Like with Saturn, there's this delayed gratification. So you might be working so hard and so diligently on something and be so frustrated that you're not getting it right away. Saturn is challenging you. It's testing you. It's seeing if you really want it enough to show up day in and day out. Like I said, with the prior tip, it makes us aware of time. How, we, how we're utilizing it, if we feel like we have enough of it, how it's sort of like slipping away from us. So in terms of what you're building, so whether you're like building a, a company, you're building a passion project, you might notice during tra Saturn transits that stuff's not blowing up the way that you hoped it would or that things aren't going that fast. And I'm not saying it's a failure, but more so Saturn is like, okay, you want this? Okay, keep going, keep working at it. You know, like Saturn isn't just gonna give it to you right away. It's a test. It's a challenge. It tests us for discipline and it tests us for focus. So if you are in the middle of a Saturn transit, do not give up. Put in the effort. And again, it's gonna take you getting organized about your schedule, getting organized about your life, and also streamlining tasks. So if there's things that you're not passionate about building or things that don't really add to the bottom line of your life, getting those out of the way so you can really show up and enact discipline and also be okay to know that you're not gonna get it right away and that things that are worth having take a long time to get to. Tip number seven is really be diligent around taking care of yourself because Saturn transits can make someone feel apathetic to depressed, like somewhere in that range. Like it's not the happiest go lucky sort of energy. It definitely comes with a more somber mindset. And of course this will depend on the planet that it's transiting but it will kind of be marked with this energy of looking at life and feeling like it's all work and no play. So whatever it looks like to you to maintain a little bit of lightness in your life, because again, Saturn trains, they make you grow up, they make you mature, but that doesn't mean that you need to abandon all of the things that made you happy. And it, it's really an opportunity to get really disciplined about taking care of yourself. Like if you know that if you only sleep five hours, you feel horrible the next day, like organize your schedule so you have that time to sleep. Or if you wanna get healthier, but you hate hit workouts and you would so much prefer like doing yoga, find those things that allow you to maintain a little bit of lightness and joy in your life because it can be marked with being really somber. And tip number eight is if there are any addictions, if there is anything in your life that is really taking more from you than it is giving, this is the time to get rid of those habits. Like Saturn transits, a positive of it is that it really can be, can inspire some shifts to up level yourself and to let go of habits and patterns that are not serving you. So whatever it looks like for you, if there are habits that are not serving you, Saturn transit, is the sort of harshness and the intensity that can finally rip you away from that destructive habit. And honestly, typically Saturn transits are when that behavior starts to catch up. Like I was saying with your diet, you know, like Saturn transit is when, you know, you get a, not trying to inspire any fear in anyone, but like, let's say if you've had like a drinking problem or something like that, like a Saturn transit would be the time that you know, you get a DUI, like there starts to be wake up calls for your actions. And it's sort of the energy where you are forced or you feel because of your awareness of time and your awareness of what it is that you're building and awareness of becoming adult, you're really able to lean into up leveling 
your life and your habits into a bigger version of yourself. So friends, what do we think of the series? Comment below which planet I should do next. Overall, Saturn transits are not something to fear. Just get your ducks in a row, organize, streamline your life, and Saturn can be very gentle. It can just sort of up-level us into the next thing if you're doing that work day in and day out. Friends, until we meet again, drink lots of water and stay cosmic.